Thanks, Ashish. The Internet of Things needs lots of low-cost sensors. And one of the technologies that can provide this is microelectromechanical systems, also known as MEMS. So what are MEMS? MEMS are tiny mechanical devices produced using integrated circuit technology. This allows the creation of low-cost, miniaturized sensors and actuators, which consume very little power. As a result, MEMS are becoming increasingly ubiquitous. For instance, a typical late model car includes over 50 MEMS devices, including silicon nozzles for fuel injection, accelerometers for air de deployment, microphones for noise cancellation, exhaust gas sensors, and more. Overall, the automotive market for MEMS devices is $2.6 billion in 2013. And since 2007, with the introduction of the iPhone, mobile computing has been a major driver of the MEMS market as well. Applications include accelerometers, gyroscopes, pressure sensors, microphones, autofocus, and there are many more still to come, some of which are shown in this figure. Now, one of the new applications of MEMS sensors is MEMS gas sensors. The buildup of combustible gases on oil and gas platforms is a critical issue that can lead to explosions. Consequently, the gas sensors are essential, but the installation of wired sensors is time-consuming and expensive. The European Space Agency and Syntax have developed a small tiny MEM sensor which use, performs infrared spectroscopy on a chip. It uses only 5 milliwatts compared to three to six watts for the systems currently in use. This allows it to be truly wireless with two year battery life. So it can be installed exactly where it's needed. The 90 to 95% reduction in installation time and 80% total cost savings has been observed in early installations. Moreover, these sensors are tunable, allowing them to be applied to other applications, such as alkalocks, preventing drunk driving, air quality market, monitoring, perhaps even CO2 sensors in food packaging. This and other MEM sensors, such as GC on a chip, open up a $2 billion gas detection market to MEM sensors, which is only likely to grow with the introduction of these low-cost, low-power sensors. MEMS are applicable to the medical market as well. 5.1 million people suffer from heart failure in the U.S., and current monitoring methods are generally inadequate, with over 50% of patients being readmitted to the hospital within six months. CardioMEMS has developed an implantable sensor for heart failure patients with no leads and no batteries. In clinical trials, patients experienced a 37% reduction in hospitalization and improved quality of life. This could save $6 billion annually for the healthcare system. As a result, CardioMEMS was acquired for $435 million in 2014 by St. Jude Medical, and they anticipate $259 million in annual sales by 2018. Other applications discussed in the report include microfluidics and energy harvesting. Over time, MEMS devices have shrunk steadily, starting with micro machines in the 1960s, which were millimeter scale. Today, MEMS devices are moving towards the nanometer scale. At the same time, the number of functions available in MEMS devices has increased. As of 2012, there were only 10 basic MEMS functions in large-scale production, but many more in various stages of development. Thousands of functions have been demonstrated, and a hundred of those could hit large-scale production in the next 20 years. The cost has dropped dramatically as well. For instance, Accelerometers cost $5 each in 1990, but today cost less than $1. All of this has led to MEMS sustained and rapid growth. Today, MEMS con constitute an $8 billion industry with over 6 billion units sold annually. The market continues to grow with a projected 14% compounded annual growth rate in units sold from 2013 to 2018. From healthcare to automotive to your mobile phone, tiny low-cost MEM sensors are allowing objects to respond to their environment in new ways at ever lower costs. So what you've seen here are disruptive technologies that we have identified as having real commercial potential. 
these are not pipe dreams. There are real startups and inventors working on ideas as disruptive as the internet has been in decades past. If any of these technologies have been of particular interest, we'd be happy to chat with you about how we might be able to work to explore some of these technologies. In fact, what you've seen here is a sample of Prescatter's service. Typically, clients provide us with a statement of work. In this particular case, we have broadly looked at nine disruptive technologies. In the second step, our team has a teleconference similar to this webinar, but where we would have interactive discussions with you and your teammates on the findings. And then in the last step, we compile our findings into a report for you and your teammates to disseminate internally.